my research focuses on young people and in particular the youth protest movements that have taken place um, in Europe in particular but across the world from the Arab Spring outwards to um, America to the Occupy movement in Wall Street back again to um, Madrid and the um, street protests they have there and just looking at why these protests happened, what sort of young person was involved in them and how really um, that their politics can be mainstreamed into more traditional forms of politics. I try as much as possible to have an interactive teaching environment so I'm as interested in my work um, as to what the students think, whether they protest, whether they vote or don't vote, who they vote for. Um, and then what I can do is I can call upon that um, information, that knowledge about the students to use it in my lesson. So it's about finding about what they do, um, what, what they understand by politics, uh, what they're interested in, and then shaping the um, course around that. I think students like European studies because it offers a wide range, so the study of a wide range of countries, um, the international relations of those countries, but also it gives you an option to be studying languages as well. So you can do that while you study a language um, and or do a cultural option within the School of Modern Languages. In students um, year, year abroad they can do really creative things. Um, a lot of them tend to do um, a dissertation on the subject that they've been interested in within their year abroad or that's caught their imagination. Um, others um, take on relevant work experience from the subjects that they're interested in. So if they've been involved in the European Parliament they want to, might want to do an internship here uh, or they've been studying or looking at NGOs over there, they would take an internship here or try applying for jobs. So it's a real sort of creative um, process whereby um, they're feeding in what they've learnt in the classes into what, they're, um, what they want to research in depth but also what they want to do after they've finished here. Royal Holloway generally is a really friendly place, so uh, students will come up to um, us, knock on the door, um, if they see us passing, um, tell you how they're doing, and you get to watch them, see them develop over the four years of our course, um, which is always really um, fun to see how they improve over the four years of study at Royal Holloway. Mm -hmm.